The beautiful Marquet terrain has an ugly side, one hidden very well by the breathtaking landscape. Living here, residents have often been injured while trying to get through the difficult terrain. And in this remote area, those who fall victim are not able to reach well-equipped medical facilities. But residents here are not worried because help is literally around the corner. They have their own surgeons. Thirty-three-year-old Nixon Kemboy or Dr. Kichwa, as he is popularly known here, started operating on patients in his early twenties. He has performed hundreds of surgeries, but that is nothing compared to thousands performed by his mentor and father, Mzee Wilson Bellione. <laughs> Years ago, Mze Cheserek Arapiano underwent a two-day surgery. Part of his skull was crushed in a confrontation with one of his sons 30 years ago. Today, he remains grateful to Dr. Mze Bellione. Now fully healed out of a procedure that did not cost him any money, Dr. Bellione is his younger brother, given the gift by God, he says, to help the village. But others have to part with a lot more, says Mze Cheserek. This elderly lady had a growth removed from her throat. It was this big, she says, this picture here capturing part of the procedure. She says swallowing food had become almost impossible, so she faced the knife, restrained by one man and no anesthesia. And after hours, the growth was removed, though she went through agonizing pain. She is now completely healed. We climb the steep hills and enter the deep cleavages of El Geo Maraquet. Today, father and son have a patient, Edwin Murkomen. We find Murkomen washing his sweaty, tension-filled hands in the river. After a previous surgery, his head got hit by a mango while walking home at night. Mango trees grow almost everywhere in Kaben location of Maraquet East District. Today is surgery day. He admits that he is afraid, but after postponing the doctor's visit, he decides to be brave and free himself of the injury that is now causing him constant dizziness. <laughs> Most ironic for today's patient, under this mango tree is the traditional theater. The number of people are restricted here. Only the patient, the two doctors and two men to assist in restraining the patient. For today's operation, doctors from the Moy Teaching and Referral Hospital are here to observe. Among them is Dr. Florentius Koech, the only neurosurgeon in Western Kenya, serving a population close to 18 million people with over 800 cases a year, a profession that takes a minimum 16 years of training and around 10 million shillings for studies both locally and abroad. Um, we still need many neurosurgeons. Um, the traditional neurosurgeons do feel a bit of the cup that, that is in uh, delivery of neurosurgical services. And in fact, in some cultures in this country, that is Marakwed and in Kisi, that um, deficit is so entrained in their culture that they cannot go to a hospital without having to see a traditional neurosurgeon before going to the hospital. 
preparation is done, Daktari wears surgical gloves given to him at a local hospital. Everyone positions himself and then they are ready to operate. Today, local anesthesia is used, but it is not enough to kill all the pain. And as the doctors start to cut open, someone still needs to restrain the patient. They, however, have herbs that prevent excessive bleeding. A few meters away, Old men perform a ritual to bring good luck to both the doctor and patient. The sahele to ki operate mutu, sahele to ko no to no operate ko na ya nyumbani yenyi ana kunywa alafu ina suya damu isi toke nyingi. A graphic procedure in which the line between life and death is as thin as the blade of Daktari's carpel. But for this too, that is no worry. The patient clearly shows pain, but they cut open his forehead. He has to be made well. So far, none of their patients have died. They say they can do head operations with ease removing broken parts of the skull and seal without breaking a sweat. We ngozi ya pongo ile ya ndane imbele. Iko ya chu na iko ile ile uko ndane ile ya kwenda chini. Sasa hiyo mtu anapasua hii mapupa anapasua hii na kupasua ile. Sasa anapasua ile kidogo. Lakini usuri yake apana kwa damu apana ngea sasa mena pekapeka hii maputa ya mbusi alapo mena weka hii mena weka hile na kuweka hii sasa na kuweka hii ya chuu na kushona the only part of the body they say is tough for them is the stomach. They tell me the gift has to be passed on to the next generation who hopefully will have more training and save more lives. At the end of the day, it's about um, helping our people. And if they are able to help our people, well and good. Many in the village walk around with scars, scars that remind them on a daily basis that they are alive because of their gifted traditional neurosurgeons. The positive aftermath of what happens in this traditional theatre has been called a gift by many villagers here, a gift that has been passed on from one generation to another. Masi Kandia KTN, Kitoin Village, Elgio Marquez County.